you love something, let it go. If it doesn't return, hunt it down and kill it. Is that how the saying really goes? I don't think so. But that's the life we lived on this side of the green earth. Every four years, vows are renewed to educate us, protect us, provide for us until the new channel does us part. But when has that actually happened? Looting and killing, failed promises, stealing, in broad daylight, midnight, kidnapping, you name it. Raping and butchering, swindling, extortion. Those were the vows they actually swore. We were slumbering and drowning, dumped in lies and deceit. They hoped we would never resurface. Oh God, it was obscene. Maybe it was our fault. Maybe we were too trusting to leave our future in their hands when we couldn't see their disguise. Where is it? was a masquerade ball, after all. They push you to a wall, show you dimensions of yourself you have never seen before. But this is an old trick, actually, because history declares that in every timeline there is a king or a ruler that seeks to devour the nation. With oppression and extortion in very large proportions, their hardened hearts could only see leadership through lenses of distortion. But God, Woe unto him who causes one of these little ones who believes in me to sin. It would be better for him if a milestone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. But you see, God always raised a something or a someone to dethrone these delusional demigods. The clock is taken down on them. Everything will be exposed and they will have to fem. We are the something that God has raised. We are no longer phased. Our weapons of warfare are far much more than carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of their strongholds. Context. And with this lazy, praying, innovative, phone pressing generation, God will let his people go.